Hello everyone. So in this video, we will cover question number 3.5, 3.6, 3.7 and 3.8 of 11 standard physics. So here we are covering motion in a straight line. We will also use the concepts of relative velocity. So let us look at the questions. 3.5 question. A jet airplane traveling at a speed of 500 km per hour. Speed is 500 km per hour. So let us write Vj is equal to 500 km per hour. Vj is equal to 500 km per hour. We are considering this direction as positive. The right direction as positive. So it ejects its products of combustion at a speed of 1500 km per hour relative to the jet plane. Okay. So the ejection is 1500 km relative to the jet plane. So V of C with relative to jet will be minus 1500 km per hour. Why minus? Because the combustion products will be thrown behind will be thrown in this direction which is the negative direction. We have to find the speed of the combustion products as per the observer of the ground. We have to find V of C, speed of combustion products as per seen by a person on the ground. We know V of C, J would be velocity of combustion products from ground minus velocity of the jet that would be the relative velocity of combustion products to the jet plane we know v of cj is 1500 is equal to velocity of combustion products with respect to the ground minus this would be 500 therefore velocity of combustion products with respect to the ground would be 1 Five double zero plus 500 which is yes 1000 km per hour which is 1000 km per hour here 1000 is just the magnitude of the velocity which is the speed with respect to the person on the ground technically VC should be minus 1000 km per hour okay Understood? So let us move to the next question. Question 3.6. A car moving along a straight highway with speed of 126 km per hour is brought to a stop within a distance of 200 meter. So the car is stopping within 200 meter. So the car is stopping within 200 meter what is retardation of the car so we are assuming that retardation is uniform so what is retardation of the car so retardation is deceleration or negative acceleration therefore first let us write the initial velocity of the car so initial velocity of the car u is 126 kilometer per hour but the displacement or the distance covered is given in meters. So we will convert this into meter per second. So this is 126 into 5 divided by 18. 126 into 5 divided by 18. So this would be 35 meter per second. This would be 35 meter per second. What is the final velocity? Final velocity V is 0 meter per second as the car is coming to a stop as the car is coming to a stop now what do we have we have displacement s to be 200 meter we want to find negative acceleration first let us find acceleration then we will mention negative acceleration so we have to find acceleration a question mark and time t question mark okay so let us find acceleration 
for that we will use third equation of motion which is 2 as is equal to v square minus u square therefore acceleration a will be v square minus u square upon 2a which is v square is 0 minus 35 square upon 2 into 200 this would be 35 square is 1 2 2 5 1 2 2 5 divided by 400 which comes out to be 3.06 minus sign don't forget the minus sign minus 3.06 meter per second square so acceleration is minus 3.06 meter per second square therefore retardation is equal to 3.06 meter per second square retardation is 3.06 meter per second square now what about the time for time we will use the first equation of motion we know v is equal to u plus a t therefore t we can write as v minus u upon acceleration a v we know is 0 minus 35 upon 3.06 so this becomes 11.4 seconds therefore time taken is 11.4 seconds so the time taken is 11.4 seconds the retardation is 3.06 meter per second square and time taken is 11.4 seconds. Now let us look at question number 3.7. So in this question we have two trains A and B both of length 400 meter. Each are moving in parallel tracks with uniform speed of 72 kilometer per hour uniform speed of 72 km per hour in the same direction. A is ahead of B. So this is A, this is B. A is ahead of B. The driver of B decides to overtake A and accelerates by 1 meter per second square. Acceleration is 1 meter per second square. Acceleration is 1 meter per second square. After 50 seconds what is happening? Guard of B just brushes past driver of A. Now always you have to remember the driver is at the top, the driver is at the front and the guard is always at the back. The guard is always at the back. Therefore after 50 seconds after 50 seconds this is happening that the guard of B is just going past driver of A guard of B is just going past driver of A and we have to find the original distance between them so original distance between guard of B and driver of A we have to calculate this distance okay because during this, these 50 seconds, that much distance has been covered. Let that distance be S. That much distance have been, has been covered. Now we have been given, both of these trains have been moving with uniform speed of 72 km per hour. Therefore, what would be the speed of train B with respect to A? That's right. It would be U equal to 0 kilometer per hour because with respect to each other they will have zero speed because both are moving with same speed which is also equal to zero meter per second zero meter per second now what else do we have we have that the train is accelerating train b is accelerating with one meter per second square and time that it has taken 
is 50 seconds and we have to find s the distance covered so which equation will we use we will use the second equation of motion which is s S is equal to ut plus half a t square. S is equal to ut plus half a t square. So this becomes 0 into 50 plus half multiplied by acceleration is 1 time is 50 square. So this becomes 50 square 5 square is 25 and two zeros in front of it divided by 2 it is 1 2 5 0 so it is 1 2 5 0 therefore original distance between the driver of the train A and guard of train B driver of train A and guard of train B the distance S how large is that distance that distance is 1250 meter. Therefore, distance is 1250 meter. Distance is 1250 meter. Now, let us look at question 3.8. On a two lane road, car A is traveling with speed of 36 km per hour. So car A is traveling rightwards with a speed of VA. With the speed of VA. Two cars B and C approach car A from opposite directions. So B is approaching from behind. C is approaching from front. This is VC. This is VB. Okay. And both have speeds 54 km per hour. So VB will be positive because this direction we will consider as positive and VC will be minus 54 km per hour. At certain instant AB is equal to AC and both have been given to be 1 km. AB and AC are equal, both are 1 km. Now what does B decide? B decides to overtake C before C does. C will come slowly, slowly, slowly and overtake it. But before that, C before that, C overtakes A. B wants to overtake train A itself. So what will it do? It will accelerate and just as it reaches A, it will switch lanes, come here and then switch back. Okay. Switch lanes, come to the right lane and then switch back because they have just two lanes. Now we have to find the minimum acceleration of car B to avoid accident. When will accident occur? Accident will occur when C reaches here and B also reaches there at the same point. If both B and C reach here at the same point, accident will occur. So we have to find the time in which C will reach this position and that is the maximum time B has if it wants to overtake A before C reaching A. So first let us write relative velocities of B and C with respect to A. Velocity of B with respect to A would be VB minus VA. So VB is 54 km per hour minus 36 km per hour so this becomes 18 km per hour which simplified is 5 meter per second which simplified is 5 meter per second now velocity of c with respect to a is vc minus va so it is minus 54 minus 36 so it is minus 90 km per hour which is equal to minus 25 meter per second minus 25 meter per second now AB is equal to AC is 1 km 
which can be also written as 1000 meters which can be also written as 1000 meters so let tc be the time taken for c to reach a so that will be the distance ac divided by velocity of c with respect to a so it will be 1000 meter divided by 25 now we here we have to take the speed and not the velocity so this will be 40 seconds so c will take 40 seconds to reach a therefore b has to cover the distance of ab in 40 seconds let us assume that b accelerates with a so let a be the acceleration of b therefore we have s is equal to ut plus half at square here s is 1000 meter is equal to initial velocity will be 5 time is 40 seconds plus half into acceleration a into time is 40 into 40 so this is 1000 is equal to 200 plus 800a therefore a will be 800 upon 800 which is equal to 1 meter per second square therefore minimum acceleration for minimum acceleration of car b is 1 meter per second square is 1 meter per second square hope you like the video let us meet with some more problems in the next video thank you